Hey y'all, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. This is going to be a very short, sweet, unedited video while we pull money from our financial freedom debt payoff book binder. We're gonna talk about the reason why and we're gonna talk about the recent sale. I've been a little MIA since I had a major sale and launch on Etsy. It was major for me. So let's pull this money and we're gonna talk at the end we're gonna count it. We're gonna talk about why I'm pulling it, and we're gonna talk about the sale real quick. I uh, this is sort of an unstuffing, but it is more than anything just an update video because I've been gone for like three weeks ever since we had that launch. So thank you. I guess first and foremost, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who supported that sale, who purchased over on Etsy, who has been watching the videos. If you have participated in my shop or even just being around on YouTube. Thank you. I appreciate you guys for being a part of our little community. You are amazing. That sale blew me away with the support that I received. Hence why I've been missing <laughs> because, um, I haven't really launched new items like that, nor have I had a major sale. Okay. Those are two separate things. I haven't had a major sale. I have pulled some of this money, so we have less than what, you know, we had at one point, but I have not had a major sale like that in like a year, right? It was 20% off the entire shop and I have never had a true launch like where I was like, okay, here's like six, you know, 10 new items. I don't know that I've ever done that. I haven't done that in the last couple of years, maybe when I very first started three years ago. Um, so it's been a while. So to do a launch though, and a sale, you guys supported that so much. I wish I had the exact numbers. I do plan on coming back to you guys and sharing the exact numbers, what sold really well, what didn't do as well as I thought, as well as just sort of like the numbers and how, how that launch went. I have a tiny bit of footage, but not a ton. My, my thought is that in the future, I would like to have once a month kind of like a shop vlog style it's it won't take over the majority of this channel but i'm sure for those of you that are supporting the shop you would have fun watching a video like that so i would love to have those kind of videos like once a month we will do like i said a video talking about this last sale with a little bit of footage but more just talking about the numbers and how it all worked out um, but I will tell you guys, it was what I'm calling a successful failure. <laughs> it was a success because you guys really supported it. I want to say we had maybe a hundred sales total, like not a hundred items sold, but like a hundred purchases. Um, so more than a hundred items, but a hundred purchases within that week, which is crazy amazing for my shop. That doesn't typically happen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. For real like if you supported that at all i was truly blown away i'm calling it a success because you guys supported it uh it was a failure because was i prepared for that level of sales no i was not hence how i how and why i've been mia the last three weeks because i don't have all the numbers like i said i just haven't i've been keeping track of things but i haven't like looked at all of the data and all of the numbers yet to be able to report back to you guys. But I, you know, I do know the overview is that I basically sold what I would in a typical month within a few days. And I did prepare, there was a freebie set. Do I have one on hand? Let me see. There was a freebie set that came with a birthday theme because we were celebrating three years of Jordan budgets. So it came with like this birthday set of 12 different trackers. I prepared just to show you guys kind of like the level I prepared versus the reality of what happened. I prepared um, 30 of these sets thinking that would cover what I needed to give away and what would actually sell because this was a listing in the launch as well. And I want to say, I mean, I was out of sets that I prepared. I, I was out of those 30 within the first like 30 minutes. I think maybe I prepared by the end of it, I had to make 80 something sets. So that was just the freebies. Like I was way understocked on the freebies for the actual items themselves. I was thinking, oh, I've got everything prepped ahead, but there were p bits and pieces here and there that I did not prep ahead that I thought, oh, it won't be hard to keep up with. For example, the covers, the covers of 
my monthly sets because the inside of the monthly sets and the it's a monthly savings challenge or it has a month on the cover the insides are all the same but the covers will either say this design for example can be blank it can say january or it can say one month ahead i didn't prepare for example the covers because depending on what you choose i don't want to prepare you know 10 of each style when i only had 10 listed total so I that was an element that was prepared kind of in the moment and by the time I got as many orders as I did I just I, I'm still behind <laughs> I thought I would have everything shipped out out within a week and that was like two weeks ago so here we are I will say at this point we only have maybe um, we're gonna sort this money while we finish talking shop we only have maybe 10 orders left from purchases within that week so if you are one of those if your order basically if your order is still not shipped i am so so sorry you are one of 10 people that just somehow like by the time i got to your order <clears throat> there was excuse me there was like several pieces missing and i'm working on those over the weekend so if your order if you order during the sale you still haven't received it i'm so sorry it is still in the works and it will ship by monday morning i only have 10 of those left and then I, I have been keeping up with some recent orders that are like smaller orders after the sale, but I wanna say I have like eight orders sitting there after the sale happened um, that I need to get out as well. So about 15 orders left to do this weekend. I will absolutely do it. I I will absolutely do it this weekend. So I was, was the complete sentence. Um, but I wanted to make this video just to give a quick update and to pull this money. The I have a hard time doing video updates when I'm behind on orders because I feel like it's not fair to the people who have orders sitting there to spend time to do a video and an update, which is why this video is highly unedited and you're just, you're getting whatever it is and it's not a full cash stuffing, unstuffing, you know, kind of situation. This is more just a quick little chat to tell you I am still around, I am still alive. I hope that all of you are doing well. Let me know in the comments how things have been going for you. Things have been great here. I just very much underestimated the support I would re receive on that sale and on that uh, launch. So if you did support it, again, thank you. I appreciate you. I am so sorry because some orders definitely went out late and some orders are still yet to go out. And another thought, if you are one of the people who your order did go out, late like it you know etsy says this order is late it, it has probably let you know it definitely let me know if you are somebody who still has an order sitting there for me that hasn't shipped yet please reach out to me if you are interested in future launches because i will give you a personal discount code i don't know if it's gonna be 15 or 20 percent yet i need to work something out kind of play with the numbers when i do run sales i lose a lot of my profit um which is fine, it's worth it to have sales on occasion, but especially if you had an order go out late, contact me, let me know on Etsy. Don't contact me right now <laughs> because I am still trying to, like I said, catch up, but there will be a launch October 17th with some restocks and some new orders, or, uh, some new items, I'm sorry, some new items, some restocks. So if you're interested in purchasing something, keep an eye out on the shop on October 17th, 10 a.m. And if you are somebody who is purchasing and you had something go out late in this launch, definitely contact me. I would love to give you a discount code. Um, uh, I know in the grand scheme of things, it's not that big of a deal, but when I order something, I love to get it very quickly. And so I do feel extremely guilty when I don't get things out super quick. Okay, so how we are here today, we are pulling our 100 days to financial freedom debt payoff. We did not keep up with this like much at all. The I, I started to, I'll confess, I started to keep this going just for fun because I wanted to complete something and I wanted to complete it with you guys, but because of the success of that launch and sale, I on the back end threw pretty much all of that money that I got at debt. And I'm sure we still have a bit of debt because I'm on a strict budget right now. I have very limited to no like fun spending happening, but I um, am trying to keep it really limited because 
in present time, I'm kind of living on credit cards. It's a little complicated. Basically, we paid off all the debt and didn't keep any like living in the moment money or cash because I am trying to keep everything. I'm juggling everything. I don't exactly know where my debt is at this particular moment is what I'm trying to say. But my debt is not $5,000, which is what this was. And I think if we put this in the bank, we should pretty much catch up to debt and I'll be able to update you guys next week and we can kind of start once I have these orders out this weekend and I can kind of get back on track with the rest of life and my actual budget and my cash stuffing. I feel like um, we should be close to being debt free, but I should be able to tell you guys that for sure next week. But long story short, although I'm, I feel like I made a short story long, I think I just need to pull this money, put it towards what's left on the credit cards, and I'm hoping that we are somewhere near even. Then we don't have to worry about this anymore. We can just focus on our one month ahead binder and then pretty soon get to stuffing some fun categories and some other things, right? Instead of just debt and like a month ahead. But in order to kind of get to that step and to keep us up with reality, or keep us up with real time, actually. Um, we need to count this, bring it to the bank, and then we will start fresh next week. Next week we should have a cash stuffing, and I can really talk about the numbers with you guys, and we can start talking about the next launch that's gonna happen in the shop. And I have been getting requests to talk about my real sp spending, my real budget, and kind of giving you guys weekly recaps. If you would enjoy that, let me know. I have an idea of how I can do that pretty simply, and that's always the big hiccup with me with filming is because I stay so busy with all of the things. I kind of need my filming at least at this stage to be super simple to get to you guys until I am at the point where I can hire an editor, uh, which hopefully is in the work soon. But at this point it needs to be easy. And I think I've come up with a pretty easy idea of how I could give you guys a weekly recap and it still be interesting. So I would like to do that possibly next week. If not next week, then maybe soon after. Let me know what you think about weekly recaps in addition to weekly cash stuff eggs. Okay. Let's go ahead and count this cash. This should kind of tie up the rest of the video. That was the main message, the main thoughts that I wanted to get out with you guys was just a bit of shop updates and then pulling this and hopefully we will be done with debt very soon. 50, 100, 52, 53, 50, 400, 420, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, Let's put the five, yeah, 500, 600, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 57, 657 dollars is what we get to bring to the bank and I will give you guys kind of a report or an update on debt next week let you know where we sit with that we probably we might have a little bit of debt left over but I think that's something we will be able to work into our monthly binder that we're working on and we shouldn't have to keep going with this because I think it's a small enough amount of debt at this point that we don't need the $5,000 tracker set we are going to switch to maybe a 500 dollars debt goal so that is it thank you guys so much for being here thank you again if you supported the sale or if you're not shopping with etsy that's totally fine too thank you for watching videos just like this one i appreciate you guys and i'll see you again soon Bye bye